Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game from Scratch. Today we have another humble bundle of interest to game developers. This one is a collection of very interesting game development books from A-Press. It is called the A-Press Game 20 Coding 23 Bundle. Although I think maybe you're supposed to read that as Game Coding 2023. That makes a small smidge more sense. A very interesting collection of books in here covering a wide gamut of technologies from creating your own engine in 2D, using Godot, using... Um, Game Maker, uh, Mono Game, etc. There's some really interesting books in here. There's also a really big caveat. I'm going to cover the caveat very early on because it's going to be a deal breaker for many of you, I think. So it's an interesting bundle for sure. I'm going to come back to the uh, details of it here. Another thing that's interesting in this particular video, I also have some bonus content. I was going to make it into its own video. It didn't really make sense. So if you're looking for a free 3D asset, at the end of this video, I have something for you as well. Got literally nothing to do with this bundle itself. It's just kind of like a, a free Easter egg for anyone that actually watched this video from assets that you can grab high quality for completely free. All right, first, before I jump into the deal about this bundle itself, let's get to the caveat or the but part of the story. And this is a very, very big but. So when you buy this bundle, you are getting all of the books for download on the Humble site. And this is pretty normal. Uh, you can download them as many times as you want. Their site is quite fast, easy to download, etc. And one thing you will notice here, and this is different from previous Humble bundles, and this is a brain scratcher for me, everything here is in EPUB. Uh, so the books are EPUB only. There is no PDF version. That means you're going to need to have an EPUB reader on whatever device you download. Now, EPUB readers are a dime a dozen. You can get them on literally every platform possible. It's just like, again, if you're reading these on a PC, for example, there's a pretty good chance that you do not have an EPUB reader installed. They're always PDF. So I don't know what's going on with this. That is very strange. So I wanted to get, uh, I wanted to show you all my big butt to start. All right, so now that you've seen my butt, let's get back to the bundle itself. Organize it into tiers. You buy a hard dollar tier. You get all of the stuff below it. Uh, you decide how your money is allocated between humble publisher or charity, and if you so choose to do, and thank you so much if you do, to help support Game From Scratch. Uh, now, let's talk about the tiers here. So you're getting a $19 tier. Another interesting thing about this bundle, and I would love to hear your feedback on this one. I get Canadian prices because I am Canadian. The benchmark pricing is in USD. Normally with book bundles, we see them on the even. So $15, $20, $25, and so on. This bundle appears to be $18 USD for the top tier. I've never seen that before. I'm not saying it's a ripoff. Basically, if there's a single book in this deal that looks useful to you and you can read an EPUB, uh, it's worth getting. So just to be aware of that, the top tier is a very strange price. It might just be that we're getting screwed in the Canadian dollar currency exchange. I'd be curious to hear if you are in a USD market, what is the top tier price for you? But the bottom tier price is $1. And the $1 tier here, you're getting the beginning VFX with Autodesk, with, uh, Autodesk Maya and the introduction to Java through game development. This is teaching you the Java programming language using game uh, or via game development. Uh, we jump to the median tier, which is actually interestingly, you know, a good price at this point in time. It actually makes sense to pick up this medium tier as it stands now. Uh, at that tier, you're getting the advanced Unity game development. You're getting exploring game mechanics, the human game interaction in game development with Python, introduction to video game engine development. So this is actually on creating a 2D game engine. The languages are a combination of a Java and their built-in graphics framework or C Sharp and uh, the mono game framework. So if you want to create your own 2D game engine, that's what that one is covering. And then we've got procedure generation in Godot. So if you want to create, you know, your own dynamic levels, how to have programmatic tile sets, etc. This is a procedural generation book on the Godot um, platform. That one definitely looked a little bit interesting to me. It's, it's a very unique or somewhat niche topic. The stuff that I love to pick up in books, to be honest, I though I prefer it in PDF format, but again, another topic. Uh, if we go to the full fat tier, you're getting 19 total books. Again, it boils down to if there is a single book in this bundle, it makes the entire rest of the bundle basically free for you. Uh, you're getting uh, the Way We Play, a book on game design. Uh, you're getting sound and music, so the basics of digital audio for video games. You get uh, beginning 3D asset development pipe on. This is very specific. This is basically from going from Maya to Unity. Uh, then you're getting building multiplayer games in Unity, and we get a book on game development using Mono Game. So if you want to create using that C Sharp framework, I'm a big fan of Mono Game. It is the spiritual successor to uh, Microsoft's XNA. Um, that is an interesting book there. How to make a game. So from idea um, uh, to publication, basically walks you through the, the process of creating a game. We have a book here on uh, Game Maker. So you learn the GML programming language and start making games uh, using Game Maker, which does have a free tier available now, which is good. Uh, then we've got another Java book in here, oddly enough, which I think this has also got a cameo here from Kenny's Graphics. Uh, but this one is Learn Java Effects uh, Game and App Development. 
Uh, we got beginning game development with Godot. So you got a book on creating 2D platformers using the Godot game engine. Uh, and then we've got to build your own 2D game engine and create create great web games books here for using HTML5, JavaScript, and WebGL to create a game engine. So we've got two books in this thing on creating a 2D game engine covering Let's see, JavaScript, uh, C Sharp, and Java as the programming languages. And then we've got the introduction to Unity ML agents. We got Unity Virtual Reality Development with VRTK4. And then we got Advanced Unity Game Development. And I think we're repeating at this point in time. We may have actually repeated this one already. Uh, it's an interesting bundle. Uh, again, you get a lot of books in here you don't normally see covered. So we got a, a 2D platformer book in here, game development with Mono Game, Game Maker. Um, so some stuff that you don't normally see covered in these kind of book bundles, that is definitely uh, interesting to me. Again, this is the crap part. I don't know why they're EPUB only. This is just mind melting to me. Again, you should be able to get an EPUB reader for free for whatever platform you want to read these on. But when they're a PDF, you could just open them up in your browser and you were, you know, Bob's your uncle. Now, EPUB is probably a better book format overall. And if you've got something like a Kindle or a Nook or whatever, and you're reading it on those devices, it's kind of, you know, it's got tables of contents and chapters and all that kind of stuff in it and search and the lookup and all that kind of stuff. Uh, that PDF doesn't always have, especially if it's an image scan. So there are some upsides to EPUB sometimes, but again, this one is perplexing. Let me know what you think of this, and if you'd like to see Humboldt do or not do this again in the future. And here is the bonus content I promised you when we started this video. Um, this was just released. I think I've covered him in the past. This is the K-Kit, uh, and the cool thing here is this is a bunch of free assets. This is from uh, K. Lewisburg. Um, again, I think I have covered him in the past, but he just released this asset pack of stylized uh, 3D assets for a dungeon environment. And the cool way he does this thing is basically he releases a free version and then he does kind of an upgrade version. So if you want to have a little bit more assets, there's the extra tier here. And if you want to have the original source blender files and so on, you can buy them there. But this free tier is the mass, like the vast majority of things here. So you got like a uh, 200 3D assets there. So the upgrade tier is only 25% more assets. And again, if you're fine with the assets as they are and ready to use in your game, you don't need the source blend files. Well, you're good to go. So these are actually going to come in uh, FBX, GLTF, and OBJ format. So you can use them directly uh, in Unity, Godot, Unreal Engine, Roblox, etc. Uh, they are free for personal and commercial use. So CC0 licensed, fully textured, 1K textures. They are low poly and so on. Uh, he does have a number of other packs. It's definitely worth checking out K stuff in the past. I, I think I've covered him in the past in general. He's got a number of other assets there as well, but he just released this one. Again, it's not one of those things that I could do my own video about, but I figure I could definitely throw it in with this one. So if you're looking for some more free stuff out there, especially for like prototyping your own game. This one will work with just about any game. Should be game ready. Uh, low poly, good quality work. If you want to go ahead and check that out, uh, K-Kit uh, is available. Let me know what you think. Comments down below, and I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.